on our project new agent type I'm going to call this package I'm not going to use their animation although you could and I'm not going to add any parameters I'm going to zoom into the crosshair area and use my presentation palette and just draw myself oops no, let's rather just double click it that is 10 by 10 that is actually a bit small we can actually I think make it 15 by 15 or 14 by 14 just so that it actually is nice and centered on the crosshairs and we're going to give it a box colored fill so in our packaging block <coughs> the outgoing entity is a package and there it actually picks it up what goes into the first line is of type assembly it takes one assembly and all the other lines are zero the new entity that is being created is a package and it should also use resources which we haven't defined yet so we can go on and define our resources by going to the process modeling library just under the assembler is the resource pool and we're going to call this workers let's create another agent type You could define or build it on on the template I'm going to choose not to and just call it a worker I specifically want to use a 2d shape and I'm going to use that person object and I'm not going to add any additional parameters to this agent type So the workers is of type worker they are moving resources the capacity is defined directly oops what is that and we will have 30 workers whenever a new resource unit is created it should also create a worker type for us they can walk in our case they're not really going to walk anywhere they're just going to appear in that area um, if we want to we can define their speed it will be let's say one meter per second and their home location will be the space for workers and it will randomly the 30 workers will randomly appear in that area one can define their breaks, failures, maintenance, and custom tasks, and perform some actions should we wish. At this point, we're not going to do that. We've got 30 of them, and we want to use them in our packaging um, activity. We want them all to use the same resource pool, and it will be workers. Each worker can package his own unit so we only require one worker for every um, assembly that comes into this area and let's make the delay time anything not less than 15 seconds a mean of or most likely mode of 30 seconds and as much as 90 seconds
sorry, that should be in the entity location delay, should be in space packaging. And the locations, location where the entities are actually queuing should be in space prepackaging. So once the entities arrive off the conveyor, it will go into a prepackaging area, which is basically the queue of that packaging area. And once it can be worked on, there are 30 workers that can simultaneously package units, it will appear in the packaging area. We only have the one queue. There are no specific entities at this point. Uh, that we want to update, we'll do that at a later stage. All right, so we should have entities arriving at our packaging and being packaged, and it should change the entity type into a package. Once that um, is done, we actually want to move them to the loading area and actually batch them. We now scroll down where we have the batch block. We can call that the loading area. The entity location, in terms of weight, the entities that are actually coming in, they should appear in the space loading area, which will be arranged, not randomly distributed. The new batch that gets created, which we will leave at 10 units, will can, can remain a default because we're not interested in actually tracking them afterwards. But what we are interested in is just making sure that the agents that are the elements, um, so they ask two agent types, what is the agent type of the element, agent type of the batch, and our elements that make up the batch will be of type package. save the model. I don't think there's anything else that we need right now. And we can add our last block, which will be the sink. So every time that there are 10, they will simply be batched and they'll be shipped out the door and we will just remove them from our model. And that should be enough for us to run the entire model. Let's see what we've got. Right there, our entities are actually arriving. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. The bodies are arriving. The doors are awaiting in the storage area. And we should actually see the assembly machine turning green, yellow, and then later on red, depending on how busy it actually is. And there we actually see the assembled units coming off the production line. We expect them to appear somewhere in the pre-packaging area. In this case, they actually go directly into um, the packaging area because there's more than sufficient number of workers. Here we've got nine units, and once the tenth unit has actually disappeared uh, or appeared, it actually moves out the door. And now we actually see all 30 units are being um, packaged, and there's not enough space, and they start queuing up in the pre packaging area as well.